we now have the, uh, the Sexual Orientation and Gender Identity 101 by Pastor Kakai Pamaran. And after, and after her presentation, we will have a question and answer. And I think question and answer will be written and, um, and then our volunteers will gonna be dis distributing, uh, I think, cards and pencil and uh, pens for your question. So, uh, Pastor Kakay Pamaran is a Union Theological Seminary graduate, and no, no, on Mark, she will be graduating, and then, uh, and she's uh, the, um, the pastor of Metropolitan Community Church. So, welcome, Pastor Kakay Pamaran. Does anyone know of Soji, S-O-G-I-E? Please raise your hand. Soji? Uh, higher, please. I'm actually taking a... Oh, okay, so that's... Very good. Thank you. Thank you, Ma'am Lisette. Soji, um, and later on, I will explain what that means. Soji cannot be taught in 30 minutes. But I will try. Okay? Sige. Um, let us start with a little uh, exercise. And please cooperate with me, people from UTS. Or else, I will deal with you later. <laughs> okay. Can somebody please... Is this picture a, bo a picture of a boy or a girl? Girl. How about this one? Boy, very good. So which one is the boy and which one is the girl? And this one would be? This one is? Very good. When we are born, our mothers, if we have, uh, we are blessed to have mothers who have um, birthed us, would decide her shopping based on what she thinks we might, uh, we, we will come out to be, whether we are pink or we are blue, whether we are boy or whether we are girl. So, si mama who is pregnant will, oops, sorry. Si mama who is pregnant will either buy pink or buy blue, depending on the child's sex. Tama? Yes. Correct. Now, why is that? Did you even ask yourself, did you try asking yourself why um, it's blue or pink all the time? We perceive the world in two boxes. I think I gave you the wrong copy of the slides. I'm sorry, friends. I'm going to just wing this. We perceive the world in blues and pinks. See? When you're a girl, you get pink. And when you're a boy, you get blue. And everything else is just going to follow. Tama? Because when we are born, Someone determines our sex, and who determines our sex? It's the doctor. When the doctor sees, or the midwife, or the hilot, uh, hilot, by the way, is the midwife of uh, rural areas, or um, yeah, midwife or doctor, and they see a penis, they will say it's a boy. They say, see a vagina, they will say it's a girl. And then your mother will go um, and do her shopping, buy pink uh, bonnets and pink. Uh, mittens and etc etc and all your life you will live as a girl sex is assigned to you at birth okay and it's very important that we de uh, that we determine what sex is and gender is if so that we can understand soji better okay sex is assigned to you at birth based on physical anatomy, internal reproductive organs, and sex hormones. The American Psychological Association defines it as 
a person's biological status and typically categorized as male, female, or intersex. There are a number of indicators for biological sex, including sex chromosomes, gonads, internal reproductive organs, and external genitalia. Now, what is intersex? Intersex would be if a child has both the characteristics, the physical characteristics of male and female. That is intersex. So technically speaking, when you say sex, it is not just male and female, it is also intersex. Until such time that the child will grow and develop into and, and live into um, the more dominant um, enzymes in his or her body. Pero, pag pinanganak ang bata at nakita na merong parehong ari, the doctor will say it is intersex. However, in the Philippines, unfortunately, it is the doctor who will decide um, based doon sa kanyang nakikita, based on what the doctor will see, whether the child is male or female. And of course, that has become a problem for many of our intersex um, sisters and brothers because some of them, when they are female assigned at birth and then they grow up to develop male um, traits, then there is a problem in the National Statistics Office for the birth certificate. You know, but anyway, um, medyo nag-amend na tayo ng uh, laws natin dyan, so you can easily change it now if you are um, intersex. Okay? So that is sex. Sex is about biology. Pag nag-check kayo ng uh, biodata, pag sinabing sex, M, F. Kung intersex kayo, dagdagan nyo po ng I. Utang na loob. Do yourself a favor. Now, what is gender? Sex is different from gender. Because gender refers to the attitudes, feelings, and behaviors that a given culture associates with a person's biological sex. Yung pink at ang blue, gender construct yan. According to um, the American Psychological Association, it also refers to the behavior that is compatible with cultural expectations and is referred to as gender normative. Oh, sorry, behavior that is compatible with cultural expectations is referred to as gender normative. Behaviors that are viewed as incompatible with these expectations could constitute gender nonconformity. Okay? So when you are born, born a girl and you want to be a bus driver, public bus driver for uh, San Agustin, no, Biyaheng Tagaytay, that is considered gender non-conforming. Of course, there are so many other um, examples. I just chose to give you, that, give you that. So in the world, we think of gender and sex as just boy and girl. And those are the two boxes that we kind of operate from. And everything that goes uh, with becoming a boy that's blue, actually. Medyo green siya sa projector, pero blue yan. Yan yun. No? Kung lalaki ka, eto yung sayo. Kung babae ka, eto yung sayo. And we think that the world is a, just, you know, a lump of blues and pinks. Now, do you agree that uh, the world is just blues and pinks? I actually need a real answer. No. Some of them are purple. Like, uh, <laughs> Mom Trelli. <laughs> Correct. We know that the world is never just pink and blue, my friends. Some of us are orange, like me. So in order for me to invite you to not, to, to not think about the world in two boxes, pinks and blues, we will now talk about Soji. At yun na yung aking napakabang introduction na naubos na yung oras ko. Sige, continue. 
What is SOGI? SOGI simply stands for Sexual Orientation, Gender Identity, and Expression. Okay, urong ng... Yeah. Sexual Orientation, Gender Identity, and Expression. Isa-isahin natin to. Let us start with my evidence for everything that I am going to tell you. There is actually this document. This document was um, drafted by the American Psychological Association in 2011, and they have defined um, the well, the, it's a definition of terms for sexual orientation, gender identity, and gender expression. We know that the American Psychological Association um, is in the forefront, pretty much, of um, doon sa, sa pananaliksik, ano, the, the, the research and the study of human behavior and human psychology. Sa mga psikolohiya, ah, hindi nabanggit kanina, actually, um, I actually, my, before uh, God called me to UTS, um, I was in Silliman University uh, where I took up my Bachelor of Science in Psychology. And in Psychology, we also have our own Bible. And our Bible is called the Diagnostic Statistical Manual for Psychological Disorders. We are now on our fifth edition. Okay? So, sa fifth edition, kasama attachment ito. So, it's a companion guide for uh, the definitions and the explanations of all um, human psychological conditions known to humankind. Okay, so that is pretty much where I will um, take all my um, information from. What is gender identity? Gender identity, and I need you to concentrate very hard. Gender identity refers to one's sense of oneself as male, female, or transgender. When one's gender identity and biological sex are not congruent, the individual may identify as transsexual or as another transgender category. Malinaw? Kung ang kaisipan mo at ang ari mo ay hindi magkatugma, you will identify as a transgender person or another transgender category. Or another gender category. Okay? So yung mga taong tugma, halimbawa ako, so ako na lang mag example ko ha para, para hindi naman ako nandadamay ng ibang tao. Unless gusto mo, poms. Ay, hindi. Okay, ako lang. Sige. <laughs> Halimbawa ako, I am a woman. I think of myself as a woman. When I wake up in the morning, I say, good morning, beautiful. I am a beautiful woman. And my sexual organ is a vagina. So my being a woman and my vagina are congruent. And therefore, I am called a cisgender person. Sino ang cisgender dito? Taas ang kamay. Yung, nagkaka, yung utak mo at yung ari mo ay align. Taas kayo ng kamay. Oh, nako. Malaking chismis pag hindi kayo nagtaas ng kamay. Salamat naman. Now, if it so happens that a child or a person's gender identity, and biological sex are not congruent. That is what we refer to as transgender. So, inuna ko muna ng define ang T doon sa LGB. Malinaw? Okay. Questions so far? Later, please write them down. Next. Gender expression. Gender expression, as defined by the APA again, refers to the way in which a person acts to communicate gender within a given culture. For example, in terms of clothing, communication patterns, and interests. A person's gender expression may or may not be consistent with the socially prescribed gender roles and may or may not reflect his or her gender identity. 
pa complicated na pa complicated ano but what is what this is saying actually is that gender expression is a person's way of expressing your gender projecting your gender in a given society so that the people will respond to what you want to tell them for example ako feminine sana That is how I wish to express my gender in a given culture. Questions? Wala. Okay. Now we move on to sexual orientation. Now I need you to leave gender, gender identity, and biological sex aside muna. And we will talk about sexual orientation. Sexual orientation refers to the sex of those to whom one is sexually and romantically attracted. Categories of sexual orientation typically have included attraction to members of one's own sex, so gay men and gay women or lesbians, attraction to members of the other sex or the heterosexuals, attraction to members of both sexes or the bisexuals. Now we have defined L, G, and B. Lesbian, gay, and bisexual are sexual orientations. It simply means that I am a cisgender woman because I perceive myself as woman. My vagina is a vagina. I act, I express myself, um, I express my gender in the feminine, but I am sexually and romantically attracted to women just like me, which makes me lesbian. Now, if I am attracted to men, it makes me, therefore, a cisgender heterosexual woman. Now, siyempre, mahirap arukin yan. Naiintindihan ko naman yun. Matagal-tagal ko na itong ginagawa. Mahirap talaga siyang arukin. So, if someone um, says that, tulad ng ginawa ko ngayon lang, that I am sexually attracted to women, therefore I am lesbian, we call that technically coming out. Coming out is also defined in this document. It refers to the process in which one acknowledges and accepts one's own sexual orientation. It also encompasses the process in which one dis discloses one's sexual orientation to others. The term closeted refers to a state of secrecy or cautious privacy regarding one's sexual orientation. So yung mga maglaladlad sa Tagalog, sa English noon ay pagka-come out. So i-review lang natin. Ang L, G, at B ay sexual orientations. Ang lesbian ay babae na nagsexually attracted or romantically attracted to a woman, tulad niya. Ang gay ay, la ay, ay lalaking, um, sexually or romantically attracted to men. At ang bisexuals ay, ay ang taong may, parehong may gusto ay nakaya niya. Kaya niya. Um, they are romantically and sexually attracted to either sexes. Usually, one at a time. I have never really actually met a bisexual person who had many partners. Well, yeah. So the T here refers to the gender identity. Malino yun. Okay? So you can actually find, um, kung medyo nahihirapan kayo, no, dahil masyadong, masyadong mabilis itong ginawa natin, um, pwede niyong i-google ang gender unicorn at titigan nyo siya at makipagkaibigan kayo sa unicorn na ito at dahan-dahanin nating aralin ano um, ang mga ang bagay na ito ayon so yon ang sexual orientation gender identity at gender expression at ang kanyang mga technical na definitions maraming salamat